just when you think the world can't possibly get any more fucked up, it gets more fucked up. Well, as you will all no doubt be aware, the Paris Olympics are on as we speak. And fresh from their absolutely epic opening sequence, where they managed to not only piss off 2.3 billion Christians with their Last Supper rendition, which was reenacted with a bunch of fetishistic transsexuals, they also managed to raise the Olympic flag at the end of the ceremony upside down. Well, as if that wasn't enough, they've gone on to even greater heights of dumb fuckery. They've now, it seems, elevated men beating the crap out of women to an Olympic sport. Now I know what some of you out there might be thinking. Well, sure, what's the big deal, Mr. Domino? In some parts of the world, men beating the crap out of women has been a national sport for centuries. Well, that may or may not be so, and I couldn't possibly comment on either that or whether any particular religion might be involved. It's certainly not my bailiwick to get into the weeds there. But I would just like to say, peace be upon you all. You now have the unedifying and downright despicable sight of men getting into the boxing ring with women and beating the living shit out of them. Pardon my French. Don't believe me? Well, get a load of this guy. This is Ayman e Khalif, and he's from Algeria, and he wants us all to believe that he's a woman. He enjoys getting into the boxing ring with actual women and knocking the daylights out of them, winning medals and pretending he's the greatest ever. I'm the best. Well, here he is in action, albeit briefly, against Italian boxer and actual woman Angela Carini. See what you make of him. <laughs> and that, as I say, was the end of that. What a terribly sad and disappointing day for Angela Carini, who had spent a lot of her life training for this very moment, only to be put in the ring against a male. She commented afterwards, amidst tears, it was the hardest she'd ever been hit. Here's that punch again. Ooh, well, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be on the end of that. Angela Carini was understandably distraught, losing on the world stage in such a fashion having finally achieved the dream of competing at the Olympic Games, to have it snuffed out by a biological male, thanks to modern, woke ideology. And in case you think that, well, that was just a once-off, it doesn't look like that all the time, well, here's Imane Khalifa knocking the absolute daylights out of Brianna Cruz Sandoval. She, like Angela Carini, is a real female. Okay. Se está llevando la contienda ahora en las repeticiones, manejándose con el jab y otra vez en la combinación ahí en el upper. Y en la parte de este tercer episodio se estuvo comiendo en reiteradas ocasiones el jab y el recto. Y bueno, pues aquí repasamos estos momentos de apremio para la mexicana. And here's how Brianda looked after that little tussle. What an absolute hero and standard bearer for Algeria. Reports coming in that the American team have brought in a, a late substitute for their women's boxing team to face Imane in the next rounds have as yet proved unfounded. And unless you totally agree with all this nonsense and cheer on Imane. I'm a strong woman. Look at it. It's I'm I'm the best. With all the excitement and exuberance you can muster then you, I'm afraid, in lefty, wokest, progressive circles, are a bigot, probably a racist. You could even be a homophobe. Of course, Ireland being the woke capital of the world, a title we managed to snatch away from Sweden a few years ago, uh, RTE, our national state broadcaster, was quick to come out and, of course, defend Imani, claiming that the whole storm was down to Russian disinformation. Tweeting out claims made against two boxers accused of being, quote, biological male cheats, appear to be based largely 
on a single statement from a Russian official published in the form of a telegram post. If in doubt, always blame the Russians. The fact that they'd previously, both boxers, Imane being one, had previously been barred, banned and disqualified by the International Boxing Association because they weren't women, uh, seems to have flown past the uh, denizens in RTE. But then again, anything that doesn't conform to their ultra-woke progressive intuitions must be disinformation and probably came from the Russians. So what do you make of all that? Have we at last reached peak wokeness, peak craziness, peak dumb fuckery, or is there yet more to come? Where are all the so-called feminists in all this? Why is it left to old crusty codgers like me to be defending the rights of women, not to get the crap beaten out of them by men in a boxing ring? As far as I'm concerned, if you put a hard hat on a man in there, he could easily pass for Bob the Builder. Should we all just bow down and admit in our heart of hearts that Imani really is a woman, because he wants to be. Well, if that's the case, then perhaps I'll redesignate, reimagine myself as a Yorkshire Terrier and enter Crofts next year. Well, if I say I'm a Yorkshire Terrier, then I must be, because I'm nothing if not stunning and brave. And to end, I'll just leave you with this little morsel. Why, it's a picture of Imani meeting French President Emmanuel Macron who, some say, is as gay as Christmas. And I happen to agree with him. Ask yourself this, would he be looking so longingly and lovingly at Imani if he was a woman? <laughs>